Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and I'm down here in the bottom corner of this video because I should probably be on video more often. Anyway, Giant Robot News, we're back! And, ooh, new glasses, I'm still getting used to them. Where have I been for the last two weeks? Well, I've been at work, literally, my 9 to 5 or my day job is, or required me to be in the office the past two weeks. So I'm up at 6, on the road, it's an hour to the office, I'm normally there about 7.30, and then I'm there until at least 5.30. Most of the days I was there until 5.30, 6 o'clock, and then it, it's an hour plus home. And if you know anything about the Baltimore-Washington corridor, you know that at that time traffic sucks. And I go through multiple toll roads, so I wasn't getting home until 6.30, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, each night, and by that point, it's family time, put the kid to bed, and then it's 10 o'clock, 10.30, I'm ready for bed. So I, quite honestly, didn't have time in order to record videos. But thankfully, we're going back to our regularly scheduled program starting this Monday, and Giant Robot News is back, baby, and I got a couple of reviews. Got two figures from, from uh, 52 Toys that I really want to review, a dragon and a condor, or is it a vulture? I, I don't remember. Hold on, let me look. So specifically, it is this thing, the Stratosphere, which just came in. I'm going to be reviewing that. And then I've got the Kieran dragon, or the Kieran? Kieran? Is that what it is? Kieran. Yes, Kieran. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. I will learn how to pronounce that before I shoot the video. I'm also going to be working on a huge backlog of stuff. I've got so many figures that, I've, that I'm backlogged on that I need to review. So hopefully I'll be able to get to that this starting this week. And I've got drag strip and kickback coming from the Hasbro Pulse uh, legacy figures. So yeah, stuff's kicking off again. Yay! And speaking of kicking off again, let's go ahead and get into the giant robot news. Now, all of these are from TFW 2005. Sorry, I know a lot of you out there don't like TFW, but this is the best place I was able to find right now. And the first thing we've got is this possible first look at Studio Series Sideways. And cool. Cool. I think it looks okay. I like the robot mode. You know, the funny thing is the head looks an awful lot like Barricade from the Studio Series line. But the rest of the figure looks fine. I don't really have a problem with it. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to have the exact same transformation as Barricade. Studio Series Barricade, that is. That, that just looks like a retool of Barricade to me. I don't know why. Next up, Jada Toys. Transformers Optimus Prime converting RC vehicle. This is cool. Now, we had that super expensive RC converting vehicle that was 700 bucks, and then they just released an auto-transforming trailer, or it's coming out for another 700 bucks. This, I'm assuming, is not going to be quite that price. No price that I'm seeing, but... I'm looking forward to this. It's a cute little transforming Optimus Prime. I will pick this one up because I can afford this one. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're looking for a good review, go check out Jobby the Hong. He did an excellent review of that auto-transforming Optimus Prime. It was, it was a really good review. Next up, we've got Prime 1 Studios Transmetal 2 Megatron. This is a statue, and then there's also the 2007 Megatron and DOTM Sideswipe and the Dread statue in ex on exhibit in Japan. In Japan. Uh, Sideswipe, I've never been the biggest fan of this Sideswipe design. I, I get what they're going for, just never that big of a fan of it. It's okay. The Dread's heads... I like to see that we have the dreads that actually are getting some recognition from their one scene in the in the dark of the moon on the highway. Yeah, there was there was this guy, this guy, and then Hatchet was the dog version. Hatchet was my favorite, the doggy. Sideswipe. Oh, Megatron. The Megatron figure looks pretty good. I'm, I'm still not sold on these movie designs, even 10, 15 years later. I'm still not in love with them. This Megatron looks really good. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Look down at the bottom. He's standing on lava and tarantulas. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm torn because even to this day, the Dragon Megatron is not my favorite. I like it, but it's not my favorite. 
I like what they're doing here, though. There's obviously a Transformer in there, but the scales and the metal feel to the design work really, really well. I, I like this. Oh, and he ripped off Tor Tarantula. Wait a minute. Did Tarantulas? Oh, no, he totally did rip off his head. Aw, poor Tarantulas. Well, you gotta rip his head off. Oh. Next up, Transformers Generation selects Cyclonus and his target master, but in the original toy colors, not the animation colors. I gotta say, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is the coloring that I wish that Cyclonus was in. Their video, oddly enough, is lacking lighting. I, I don't know how they managed to, like, not have enough lighting in their own video. It's so weird. Here, let's, uh, oop. I know that wasn't going to work. I think it's, I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. The The figure really pops in this, in this dark purple color scheme. Comes with his original gun. My biggest complaint is the Target Master. I do not like the Target Master. I wish they had done something different to give him a better, more intricate Target Master than what we've got. That's just a retool from what we got in Siege. But I get it. Yes, I've pre-ordered it. I'm going to be picking it up. I'm going to have to deal with stickers. Hopefully they're better than they were in... Was it... God, well... What was the line that we got stickers on figures and the stickers were absolutely terrible? I don't remember. Either way, I think this is great because now we really will have Cyclonus and his armada. So this will be Cyclonus with Nightstick? Nightstick? Blowback? Blowpipe? Shoot, who's this Target Master? I don't remember. Target Master? Nightstick. I was right, it was Nightstick. But yeah, so... This figure will be Cyclonus, and then the other one will be his Armada, who, to this day, I wish it actually had a name. Next up, we got Super 7 figures, Ultimates, Transformers. Who do we have here? We've got Starscream, Ghost Starscream specifically, Prime, Bonsaitron, to this day, I think it's a stupid name, and Bombshell. In their boxes, they look good. Super 7's really doing a good job with this line. There's a lot of G1 love, but I would love to see them move to another line. Ooh, Super 7 animated. Ooh, that would be cool. Next up, unfortunately, Prime 1 Studios has to cancel their War for Cybertron, Optimus Prime, and Megatron statues. These were very cool looking, but the primary reason is, one, supply chain. It's a mess. And two, lack of interest. Nobody wanted these, unfortunately which is a bummer. If you remember these, I'm not a statue guy, but these were very, very cool statues, but nobody wanted them. And plus with the amount of supply chain issues, and if you're wondering what I mean about supply chain, things coming from China to the US are really screwed up right now. Especially consider China is in lockdown again due to COVID. Next up, first look at Funko Pops. We've got Bumblebee, kind of gold Bumblebee. We've got Megatron. We've got Prime or Nemesis Prime and Prime and Soundwave. And these are Funko Pop pins. I meant to say that. These are just pins or lapels or something. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Funko Pops, but I know there are a lot of people out there who are. So get them while you can. And finally... Masterpiece MPM-13 Blackout. Great. Googly moogly. So there, there's a little bit of controversy about this that I'll talk about. It's not actually about the figure. So this was announced. Uh, this is going to be a big boy. It's It ain't tiny. It, it's, it's big. It comes with a whole bunch of accessories, guns, effects. I love... I love the helicopter mode. I think that is absolutely beautiful. The robot mode looks very good. Now, I do have that giant third-party studio series blackout that was released several years ago. It's in a bin in the shed because I just don't have room for it. It's that big. But I hope to review that at some point. But this is very cool. Oh, you got the little Scorponok. Oh, I wish that little Scorponok could transform. That would be so cool. But 
yeah, this this is cool. This is legitimate cool. Am I going to pick this up? Probably not. I'm just not really up for masterpiece movie figures right now. I just not feeling it. Maybe I'll pick up a KO if it ever comes out. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I wanted to talk about. So apparently there are groups out there saying they already have the CAD models. They've already gotten a hold of the CAD models and will have their version, the knockoff versions, to market before the official release comes out. Boy, that howdy, that's got some um, massive huevos there, we'll say. Yeah, I think this figure looks really good. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. I, I'm probably not. Let's be honest. I'm probably not. I'm at peak capacity of giant robots in my house right now, and I really can't afford to collect many more. Hence why I want to get through the backlog and get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I, I can't argue with this, though. This, this looks really good, and I love that helicopter mode. Mwah! Love it, love it, love it, love it. So here is the actual video presentation. We're not going to watch the whole presentation, but I wanted to show you the pictures from the presentation, thanks to TFW for screenshots. That thing ain't tiny. That is that is a big helicopter, and it's got correct landing gears, which is nice. It's very cool. And I, I love the Scorponok. I just love the little Scorponok in the back. Oh, I didn't realize that the spinning blade weapon is something separate. It's not actually the helicopter blades. Eh, I would, that's fine. Oh, but it can plug them in on the back. Yeah, it's a cool figure. No doubt about it. This is a very cool figure. It's just not something I'm into. All right, everybody, that's it for this giant robot news. I know I didn't cover everything. I know I have missed stuff, but I'm just going to have to let it go because I can't go back two weeks and get all the news. I'm sure I've missed a couple of things. In fact, I'm pretty sure, did I even talk about the Hasbro thing where they announced Tarantulas? I, you know, Beast Wars Tarantulas, specifically in the Legacy line. Did I do that? I don't even remember. These past two weeks have been a freaking blur for me, so forgive me. <laughs> it's been a bit rough. But as I said, we're going back to our regularly scheduled programs, so I'm hoping to have a review up for you tomorrow, probably one of these toys from 32, 52 Toys, and then reviews are going to be continuing as normal. I've just got to dig some figures out of the boxes. Like, I've got... I have a lot of boxes here that I need to still open and open up the fig and get to the figures. So yeah, content's coming. We're kicking up again. Sorry for the lack of videos. Hope you all stay subscribed. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comments. Thanks a lot. I've been Ball Matrix. See you next time.